So we finished writing our Maya CMake module, and now we can start using it to compile an actual plugin. So in this directory structure, uh, I just have a sample plugin called Maya Plugin, and in there I have a modules folder containing the findmaya.cmake file that we just created, and I also have a source directory, which just contains some source code for a simple Maya plugin. And this plugin is basically just a MPX command that says, good job. Uh, if you don't understand any of this, don't worry. Uh, you'll probably learn how to write plugins in some other videos. So to get started using CMake, the first thing we have to do is create a CMake list file, as we talked about in the introduction videos. CMake list. Double click on that. So this is pretty simple. Uh, usually the first line in any root CMake list is a CMake minimum required. Minimum. And that usually just specifies what version of CMake, what minimum version of CMake is required to run this, just in case you're using any features of CMake that are only in later versions. Uh, I actually have 3.1 installed on my machine, but since I'm not using any uh, more of the recent updates to CMake, I'll just say you can use version 2.6, which is a, a pretty good fallback version. Uh, next thing I'll do is name my project. I'll just call it sample plugin. This is going to be the name of the MLL file or the, the bundle file or the uh, SO file, uh, basically the name of your plugin. And now what I need to do is specify where CMake can search to find this findmaya.cmake file. And that can happen uh, if I use the CMake module path variable. That specifies where CMake is going to search uh, to find all of its uh, modules. And the way I'll do this, I'm going to use a built-in CMake variable called CMake current source directory modules. So the CMake current source directory is going to be the current directory that CMake is running in. So when CMake is running this CMake list file, this containing directory is going to be the uh, CMake current source directory. So if we set this module path to the current directory slash modules, that means it will be able to search this directory and find this findmaya.cmake. And now since uh, all my source code is in this source subdirectory, what I'm going to do is call add sub directory source, just like that. And that's mostly all I'm going to put in this file, because once it calls this add subdirectory source, it's going to traverse in here and run any CMake lists in this folder. So let's go ahead and create a new document in here, cmakelist.txt, and I'll just split open it in here so you can see both at the same time. All right. So for the CMake list in the source directory, the first thing I, I usually need to do is specify all of the source code files uh, that CMake will compile with. And with CMake, you actually need to specify each individual source code file. Uh, it can get annoying sometimes when you're adding or removing lots of files, but you get used to it. Sample command, sample command.h. So I basically just listed all three of my source files in there. The next thing I'm going to do is actually call my find Maya CMake module with the find package function. So I specify which package I want to find, Maya. So I remember in here, this is called Maya. So this text right here has to match what you're searching for. And this optional keyword required means that if Maya is not found, CMake will fail. It'll say it can't find Maya and it'll just quit. Uh, so since we're making a Maya plugin, Maya is definitely required. So we're going to specify the required keyword. So after I call this, let's look back at the module. I cleaned it up a little bit just with comments and all that stuff. 
But after I call this uh, find package, all these variables are going to be available for me to use in my CMake list. So the Maya library directory, the include directory, the libraries, I think that's all I need. So back here, since I found all the Maya files, what I'm going to do for this plugin, I can specify where the compiler will look for all the include header files of Maya. So I'll specify the Maya include directory, there, like that. And that variable was uh, discover here. I can also specify my link directories, which is going to be the library directory. And that was found here with the find path for my library directory. And now the main function I'm going to call to specify that I'm compiling a, a shared library or a DLL or a dilib or SO, depending on what uh, package you're on, platform you're on, is the add library function. So I'm going to specify a project name here. And this variable is automatically created when I specify this project in the root CMake list file. So here, this, var this value should be sample plugin. I'm going to say I'm making a shared library. So I'm not making a static library. I'm making a, a DLL on Windows or a Dilib or a .so on Linux. And I'm going to pass in all the source files that I specified above. So once I've added that library, I need to link all the Maya libraries with this uh, library that I'm creating. So I'll specify the project name there and pass in the Maya libraries that I found in our Maya CMake module, which is this part right here, where I looped through each library and created this, uh, this variable, Maya libraries. So I've specified our include directories, our link directory, uh, specified that we want to create a shared library file and which libraries to link with when I uh, compile the code. The last, uh, one of the last things I'll do is use our function that we wrote in the Maya CMake module, Maya plugin. And if you recall, what that function does is it specifies all the compile definitions, prefix and suffix of the generated file, and on Windows it specifies some linking flags uh, that we can use in our code. So I'll save that and let's show this in action.